If you are looking for Ultimate Team Coins, I have the place for you. Head on over to EasyMuttCoin.com where you can purchase coins for as little as $45 a mil. I did not stutter. Link is in the description. Use code GS for 5% off. What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 21 video. And man, I'm, I'm excited because tomorrow is a big, big, big day for the Budget Squadron. Now, we went ahead and got our weekend league rewards. I lied. We'll, we'll get our weekend league rewards tomorrow. So those um, rewards for finishing 18 and 6 is just unfortunate. We had a chance at the top 100. But my very last game, the 25th one, I got a desync. I got a disconnect at the loading screen and we got the loss for it. But you know what? I was hoping that the additions that we made last week would at least generate us two wins or so. And it did. We got Xavier Howard. We powered up Denzel Ward. We got JC Jackson. And instead of 16 wins, which we got two weeks ago, last week, we got 18. So now I'm, you know, hoping at the minimum, because again, it is tough with the 94 overall team. We're facing a lot of good teams out there. A lot of good players, you know, some of the better plays in the game, some of the better formations and blitzes and stuff like that. But if we can consistently win 18 games, Maybe even one time or twice sneak in the top 100 if we mess around and get 19 wins with a good SOS. Or if we get 20, you know, that's that's a lot of good coins. But um, we got our solo battle rewards today. We're going to open these up tomorrow. We got our, our red zone packs, our two of them. We got our midfield two packs. We got our two Hail Mary packs. So those, we're going to open up everything tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be probably like a two-hour video. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm not. E it's going to be a long video tomorrow. We're going to go to newest, and you see we got our, um, these are our solo battle rewards right here. Not exactly sure where this guy came from. But we got our 44K and our 60 trophies for finishing legend in solo battles. I, I remembered to do it this week, so that's big. That's an extra 110K. On top of being able to win a Super Bowl in squads, I think, yesterday or, or two days ago. And I'm, I'm in the playoffs now, so win, lose, or draw doesn't even matter. I have a touchdown pack waiting for me as soon as, you know, we uh, win or lose. But if I do win, that's like an extra, you know, 60K or something like that. I'm in the playoffs now. But um, if I win, you know, those three games, then, you know, that's another 100 some odd K. And I'm hoping to get that done by tomorrow for the reward. So um, I appreciate all you guys really helping me out, letting me know what's beneficial for the team to do because, you know, I'm doing this super late in the year, so I'm clueless. You know, I don't really know what are the go-to things to really help my team out. I just know, uh, as far as solo battles in Weekend League, outside of that, you guys have been a tremendous help. Hitting me up in Twitter, hitting me up in the comment section, and um, I've been doing a lot of grinding. I've been doing a lot of solos. We'll take a look at... The solos we did. And you take a look at our coins. We got 350K. And we finished a lot of career milestones. I mean, a lot. Um, we'll go to challenges here. So I've been getting a lot of coins. And I'm going to show you guys where all those coins uh, were coming from. So I did all the team of the years. Um, I'm lying. I didn't do all the team of the years. I'm going to, though, because that's good coins chilling there. That's like, what, another 30K? Yeah, yeah that's another 30K if I finish 145 stars. So we're definitely going to finish that. Um, I finished all of the ultimate legends, I should say. So, where are the ultimate legends? So, I did all of the ultimate legends. Did all of them. Every single one of them. And every one that came with the power-up, which is all of them. You know, Isaac Bruce, Randall, Dylan Hutchinson, Frederick, Carson, Dawkins, Thomas, Asamuga, Green, Asamoah was... Uh, he was going for 14K, and then I kept trying to sell him, and then I couldn't. Then I checked again early this morning, and he was going for 1.8. So, But I did all, all of these, and these get, you know, decent coins um, for finishing all of these. And then I got the powers, and I sold them all. I sold the Randall Cunning. Matter of fact, I'll show you guys. Um, they should still be there. So I got good coins for that, like pretty good coins for finishing the solos, finishing all the stars on those, and selling all the power-ups. So they should be in our auctions here. Um, they should still be there. All the power-ups we sold. So yeah, you, sold, you see I sold Mooga for 1.6. Some of them were cheap, like Adelius Thomas. Some of them were pretty good. Like this right here is 8K. Um, Dylan was 2. Uh, Cunningham was 7. I thought it was more than that. Bruce was 6. So this is on top of all the coins I got. So you add another. This is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 
Uh, this is like 30, 31, 32, like 34, 35 K on top of all the other coins that I got for finishing the solo. So that right there was big. And then these were just sitting in my binder. I'm not using the 49er stuff anymore. So we sold those right there and made, you know, good coins off of that. So we finished all of the ultimate legends, got all the stars, got all the coins. And on top of that, when you take a look at the stars for those, when we go back to challenges, um, the um, the stars give you extra coins, like right here. You see, you get an extra thousand, so that's another one, two, three, four, five, six, an extra six K on top of whenever you finish one, I think it's like, what, 550 per star? So if you do like five stars, you're getting like three, four K for each solo on top of the power up, on top of getting an extra thousand coins. So it's almost like six, seven, eight, thousand you know k minimum per one we finished so that right there helped us out a lot we finished the black history month uh the first uh 20 so we got uh the coins for those as well so we was able to knock those out and then um what other solos did we do the affinity we knocked out all of the affinity people hit me up on twitter saying gs the the affinity series four is Good. You could get yourself a very good 95. I thought they were full games, which is why I wasn't going to touch them um, at some, you know, as soon as I did. I, I was going to leave them alone. But then, turns out, they're, most of them are challenges. There's only like two or three win the game. Most of them are, you know, get seven tackles and don't give up ten points. So that's easy. I'll just get on defense, and when I get the ball, I'll just punt it back to them and just get tackles and stuff like that. So um, we knocked all these out. We got good coins for knocking these all out. We got some pretty good coins for those. And we also got some packs as well. Um, you see an extra K on top of a pack. And then um, we're close to 240, which would give me 4K and another divisional pack. So we finished all that. So now it's like, we're all, and also, um, as you know, we document everything, baby. We, docu we have documentation of everything we do on this account, man. Um, we got close to 100K for just... Um, getting some career stuff done take a look at career stats um i have career stars 860 so uh no i got 750 a while ago solo battle wins 68 that's gonna be a while before i get 100 head-to-head -head wins 300 uh we've been got 15 for that career passing yards right at almost 130 so that was a while ago uh 31,000. so we just got 30,000 pass rushing yards i want to say maybe a day or go a day or two ago well, so that right there was um, 30K, I mean, 25K we got for that. Offensive yards, we hit 150 the other day, too. So that right there is another 25K. So that's 50K we got for that. Um, okay, we're a while away from that. Rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, we're a while away from that. Right here, we got 10,000. This right here was another one. We just hit 10,000 career points. So this all happened, I think, like in the same day. So that's 75K for those muscles. And I'm close on a few others. Like right here, I'm 17 interceptions away from getting another 25K. Force fumbles rarely happen in this game, so I'm not worried about that. Sacks, we just hit 1,000. Just hit 1,000. So that was an extra 15K that I got while I was finishing the Affinity Solos. And then career tackles, we just hit 7,000 the other day. So, yeah, over 100K. Over 100K on four um, career stats being done while I was grinding these solos and stuff like that. So that's big. You know, that's why we're able to get uh, 350 and stuff like that. So also, um, again, we finished the team affinity solos. So we get um, a 95 standout. We get any single one of these that we want. So I took a look, right? I definitely need some help offensively faster wide receivers are just going to make me more explosive as an offense right i haven't really upgraded my receivers at all i still have dk metcalf i have was i think aj brown and stefan Diggs. i definitely could use more speed right but then i was really looking at where it is i want to like will fuller has 95 stock speed that's 96 powered up that's 98 with sprinter and that would be uh, extremely fast right <laughs> Um, but there's some really good guys here that we could definitely use. Like some really, 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 really good options. But I feel like I'm going to make the right decision on this here. And we're going to do this uh, right now. Is that we're going to pick J.C. Jackson. Now the reason I'm going to pick J.C. Jackson is because I already have 
J.C. Jackson. Hold on, let me double check before. Let me make sure I don't have a power pass on him because if I do, that would hurt. <laughs> let me double check. So the plan is to put the NAT variation in J.C. Jackson's power up, take the variation that I bought and then sell him and then get an extra 230K or whatever and put that where I plan on doing it tomorrow because I hopefully, in a perfect world, I will have enough coins to get the last three things I really need in on my defense. Now, two weekend leagues ago, we got 16 wins, and I was able to really see where I needed help, and I needed help in my secondary. I had Phillips. I had well, Phillips is my user, but I had like 94 speed sneed. I had some safeties that I had Fitzpatrick with like 94 speed. I had a few other guys. It was like, okay, I have to replace them. Like, I, I've, I'm having trouble stopping certain things because I'd put them in a purple, but they were just too slow. They wouldn't get there fast enough. So we made big adjustments on top of Dion in a super low press. And it was like, you know what? I know where I want to go. I want safeties that can go on ahead and have good uh, zone coverage and uh, with good speed. And I need better corners with press because I'm tired of whenever I forget the shade under the top because I was getting quick hike like a madman. And I'm tired of if I don't get the last adjustment in to shade over the top and um, I press, Dion is just getting destroyed. And it's like, okay, I gave up at least five touchdowns that entire weekend league where I didn't shade over the top. And it was Dion just getting absolutely destroyed with his 89 press against, you know, Randy Moss or DK Metcalf or these guys with excellent releases and they just fly right by him and I give up a touchdown. I'm like, you got to be kidding, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. I, I got to change some things. So that's where we made the adjustment there. This weekend league is like, okay, I need a few more additions to the defense to really make me feel like I have the best chance at winning no matter what offense you bring out on the field, no matter what speed you have. And that is a few more safeties. So, what it is I want to do is get some man safeties that are very, very, very good at man coverage. Matter of fact, I needed to check this too because I'm wondering if he, if uh, run support, if they get short and medium for one and two. No, they get it for two. Hmm. <laughs> that right there might change on who I wanted to get because I was actually hoping that they got it for one and two. I actually would need... I would need them to be a hybrid. Hybrid gets it for one and two. And I don't... Like, Jamal Adams for sure is a run support guy. And Derwin James... Derwin James might be... Because in a perfect world tomorrow, I will have enough coins for... Even if I have, to, even if it takes all my coins. I know I've been wanting TJ Watt for a while. But um, these guys are more impactful uh, for the defense than, um, than pass rush right now. So, let's go strong safety. Jamal Adams, I know for sure, is a run support. What's Derwin? Derwin's a run support guy as well. Hmm. That kind of changes things, man. I was hoping one of them was a hybrid. Because the hybrid guys, they get short and medium for one. Well, I guess it's not the end of the world. I could just put medium on both of them. And either one of them is going to be on a linebacker. I mean, on a linebacker. That's wild, right? Derwin James guarding a linebacker. Either one of them is going to be on a tight end or a running back. And, you know, medium should definitely help me uh, out with that. Because I already have a plan. And the plan tomorrow is to hopefully be able to afford Derwin James, Jamal Adams, and also um, Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons will be my user. So that means we will sell Bates because he would be replaced with Jamal Adams. I would replace Watkins with... Um, I would replace Watkins with... Uh, who would I replace Watkins with? Derwin James. And um, Phillips, who is my user, would be replaced with none other than Isaiah Simmons. So... Derwin James, Jamal Adams, and Isaiah Simmons. If I get those three, then I feel like I'm good. I got everything I need defensively. 
Um, or no, no, I think I'm gonna keep Bates and get rid of Roy Williams. I think Roy Williams is the guy I'm gonna get rid of because Bates I can put at linebacker, and when I audible, I can still put him in a purple zone, and he gets uh, mid, uh, and he also has 99 zone coverage, 95 speed. He's a little slower than Roy Williams, but you know, one inch taller, and him being able to reach 99 zone, whereas Roy Williams cannot. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna go on ahead and get Bates. And also tomorrow, I'm not sure which direction I want to go. I've been thinking about it. I really have been. And I'm thinking at some point I want to go a theme team. I want to. I, I want to knock out 25 of one team tomorrow as well. That's why I said tomorrow's video is going to be super long. Uh, like legit two hour long video, probably minimum. Because I got to get those three safeties. We're going to power those guys up. And um, I want to knock out at least one theme team. And I've been thinking about the Saints. And I've also been thinking about the Cardinals. The Cardinals would help me defensively because I would go on ahead and my user, Isaiah Simmons, would have 98 speed, man. That's wild. And then it would also help Chandler Jones out a little bit. And any Cardinal I happen to, you know, uh, get along the way. And then um, offensively, they got some good running backs. They have Edron James. They have, um, I forgot, they had three really good running backs um, that they were able to have. Or two, because I think Barry is, is one of them. He doesn't really count, but... Um, I was thinking about going Cardinals because again, Cardinals would help me out with my user, and I feel like 98 speed with my user Isaiah Simmons would be phenomenal. Or I was thinking about going Saints. Saints would allow me to get Alvin Kamara at 99 speed, and 99 speed because I I think he's my most important weapon because obviously I keep the ball on the ground from time to time, and uh, him having that extra speed. Would be vicious on top of there's some good players from the Saints. Like I can go on, go out and get Ricky Jackson, who's definitely a very good pass rusher. He would have plus one everything. So I'm not sure which direction I want to go in. I'm really not. It's either 99 speed Kamara or getting my user to 98 speed and being able to get a few Cardinals out the way um, as well. So I just know for sure I got to get that plus one speed somewhere along the lines. We're going to go on ahead. And knock that out for sure uh, tomorrow. But yeah, J.C. Jackson. Let's take a look and see if we have his full item. Um, you'll receive... Okay, we do. So we're going to take that back. And we are going to sell him. Get our coins for that. And then we are going to put that towards tomorrow's big spree. Which I'm really looking forward to. You guys have no idea how excited I am for tomorrow when those Weekend League rewards come out. Um, so let's go to, not Lewis. Okay. Let's go to cornerbacks. He should be about 220, 230, somewhere around there. All right, he's up for 250. So if I sell him for 245, then that's an extra, you know, 200 plus K that I'm able to get. 244, 750. 245 on the schnoz. So, again, if we're able to sell him for 245, that's just an extra, you know, 200k. And we got some good coins already sitting here again from solo battles and from playing squads. Let's see how much we have here. And all we need is the weekend league rewards to drop tomorrow. I think I might be over a mil for the first time tomorrow. I really do. 346K. You, that's almost 350. That puts me at seven. Oh, yeah. We'll be. We'll definitely. We're hitting over a mil tomorrow. 100%. And we still got trophies that we can liquidate into, um, into coins. That's 400. That right there. That's what? 9, 18, 27, 36. That's another 100K at minimum in trophies. So, yeah. We're going to we're gonna hit over a milli, a milli, a milli, a milli tomorrow and the plan is to go on ahead and hopefully get all three of those safeties and if i have enough extra if i can somehow sneak a watt in because you know derwin james i know his last part takes training and i think the training is cheaper than the card um jamal adams is like 200k um, i do know the series is coming out monday i mean friday excuse me so, I know we will be getting a 96 overall power pass on that. And I already know exactly who it is I'm going to use on that. And um, I'm using that on Scary Terry, 100%. 
No doubt about it. Um, we're using that on my man Scary Terry because he's going to have 99 speed and he's going to help out my, my wideouts immensely. He's going to help out my wideouts a ton. So we got the variation. We got the free JC Jackson. We are selling uh, the auctionable one, so we're going to get the coins for that. And again, uh, Friday, excuse me, Friday when uh, those come out, the um, we're going to grind on this account first to hit level uh, 90. And we are going to um, use that power pass on Scary Terry. He's going to have 99 speed. And he's going to be phenomenal. He's going to be my, my number one receiver. Then I have 98 speed DK. And now I need one more guy to get a little faster. Because um, Diggs is 97. I would like another 98 speed, 99 speed guy. Tyreek Hill would be perfect. I know he's a lot. <laughs> but at some point, you know, our defense is going to be done. So I don't really got to worry about upgrades from there. Um, all I need is my three safeties. And from there, I'll maybe a pass rusher or two. Maybe like a TJ Watt and like maybe like one other guy. But other than that, like, you know, we're good. I, I'm, I'm content. I will stay with Chandler Jones, you know, Peppers and Hugh Green for a while if it means I'm able to go on ahead and, you know, really upgrade my receivers, which I badly, badly, badly need. So all right, let's go ahead and finish J.C. Jackson here. And not to mention, this doesn't include whatever we finish. Um, if I'm able to get any... If I'm able to get any squads in between today and tomorrow when weekend league drops. Because if I mess around and, you know, finish this playoff that I'm in and then do another Super Bowl run, that's like another 340K or something like that. Whew, we're going to be looking good tomorrow, boys. And I cannot wait. We are prepping for, like, my biggest upgrade video yet. And I cannot wait. On top of that, you see we got 13 packs here. We got these for doing the affinities. Um... We're going to we're going to pick Packers on all of these and hope and pray that we somehow get lucky and pull limited honors. Um, right here, it doesn't really matter. We'll just sell whoever it is we get. Um, and then we have our our coins here, which we're going to go on ahead and open tomorrow. So these are our solo battle rewards and also weekend league. So I think the weekend league rewards, if I'm not mistaken, I believe... Um, I believe we should get like 300k because we got 200 like 50k or something like that from um from hitting mvp so we should be able to hit 325 350 somewhere around there you see um right here we finished legend 18 wins so that right there should be you know when we get our rewards tomorrow so once jc jackson sells and we get all our coins because i know i'm gonna have to purchase a ton of training i'm gonna have to purchase probably 300k worth of training just to finish everything up probably more which is unfortunate but tomorrow is going to be a huge 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 squadron addition of being able to make some upgrades and again if i can get um isaiah simmons derwin james and also um and jamal adams then i'm ecstatic or I might go, I mean, I'm going to have to really take a look. I would prefer the hybrid safety because they get short knockout and medium knockout for one apiece. So like Watkins right here, Watkins is perfect. You take a look at the abilities I have. If he's made up to your running back, I want him on short route and, you know, medium KO because, you know, if you're able to throw short or medium anywhere from zero to 19 yards, he's going to be able to knock it out. If he is close enough to, you know, be in the vicinity. The only thing with Watkins is that he's slow. You know, he's got, what, 91 speed? Maybe even 93. But Jamal Adams hits like 97 speed. 93 speed for Watkins. Like, Derwin hits 98. And Adams hits 97. Like, that's just, <laughs> that just makes my guy so much faster out on the field. So, so much faster whenever we decide to go on ahead and going to coverage and when i want to blitz if i want to go coverage instead of blitz um pat watkins is usually my middle linebacker and i'll go on ahead and i'll middle third him sometimes and he's just he's just not fast you know like but now again we have the coins where we should be able to afford a whole lot more and get way more speed from there so if i get three new safeties i know for sure isaiah simmons is my user tomorrow 100 percent if I decide to go in a different direction uh, via archetype instead of Derwin and Jamal, I know for sure Isaiah Simmons is coming home for uh, my user. 
And also, I know that we want two more safeties. So, you know, we'll go from there. And then Friday, we're going to get Scary Terry with our 96 overall power of pass because his limited is a 96 overall. So that's a free 99 overall receiver that we got to go on ahead and grind out for. So we'll be having, we'll be able to get him on Friday. And I'm excited about that. So tomorrow is going to be a major, major video. I'm looking forward to it. Not only are we getting three new safeties to just make the defense so much better, faster, better awareness, better zone coverage, better at stopping, the, just everything. Like I'm just getting two new players that are going to be monstrous and a new user where I'm going to be able to cover more ground and I'm going to be, because uh, Phillips is 96 speed, 5 foot 10, Isaiah Simmons is six foot four and ninety seven speed, so I'm one speed faster, and I'm also six inches taller. Man, that's insane. So that's gonna be such a huge, huge uh, thing tomorrow. So I'm excited. Like I want to go to sleep now and then wake up tomorrow and then get my weekend league rewards and start because <laughs> it's gonna be a long video tomorrow, man. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to the upgrades that we get, and we're just little by little making the team better. So. Um, be on the lookout for that tomorrow. And then as far as challenges go, I'm not really sure which direction I want to go in. Um, I could do more affinity stuff because, you know, you get, um, you get, you know, decent coins with it. And on top of that, you get like these little packs here and there. Um, you take a look like 80, 84, go team fantasy, you get these packs, you know, here and there and stuff like that. So, I mean... We'll see, but none of them are really worth, like, this right here was worth it because I got, <laughs> I'm able to get 200 plus K out of JC Jackson out of it. Here, like, it's an N1892, and I don't know if there's anyone here that, you know, would really help me. I would just take the coins, basically. It's 17 K on top of the packs and stuff like that. So, um, if there's any other solos you guys suggest that I can do to get some good coins, let me know. I'm probably just going to be doing some of the affinity stuff, honestly, because I don't, I mean, this Super Bowl stuff, I mean, I guess I could knock some of this stuff out, but the rewards don't really seem too wild here. I mean, that is 16K. I mean, this is 30K right here. And these collectibles are now, they're not even useful right here. And these uh, Super Bowl present players, like, there's no one I could get that would even start on the team. So, all right, man. Hopefully, again, you guys are looking forward to tomorrow's videos as much as I am. Um, I'm gonna try to get Aaron Rodgers gameplay today. I know it's been a while since we uploaded the goons um, I've just been really just waiting for Aaron Rodgers to drop and he finally did today. So All right, Let me just before we end the video. Let me make sure we still got the cheapest JC And the guy's a goon too. I absolutely love having him on the team. All right, we do so tomorrow a, a very long video um, <clears throat> Not sure which direction I want to go for the theme team again. I'm really thinking it's, it's probably Kamara or Cardinals, because those are my most useful weapons. One will be my user, making me a little faster. And two would be Kamara, making him a little faster, because he's a huge focal point of my offense. So, not really sure which direction I want to go in, but we'll figure it out. It's your boy, Jess. We're going to go on and be signing out. Appreciate the love and support, as always. Until next time, peace. Give it to me, baby.